everyone, and welcome to USA Global TV and Radio. I'm Dr. Jacqueline Kerbeck, and our show today is the Mallorca Connection. My friend and co-host, Roland Friedel, is having a little bit of technical issues as he's traveling through Europe with his RV, so we hope to see him. Uh, but if not, the show will continue on. I see he just popped in. Speak of the devil, here he is. Hello, Roland. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Checkling. Great to hear you. <laughs> it's so to nice you to you. see you. I'm, I'm glad you were able to get a good connection. So thank you so much for being here. Where actually are you right now? Well, actually, right now I came back to North Austria. I spent the last days on a men's festival. It was quite exciting. Really in a beautiful venue with amazing 30 men and incredible workshops. And now I was heading back today. So I'm standing in North Austria, close to the border of Czechoslovakia. Okay, well, you look quite healthy and glowing, so obviously you had a great time. So I'd love to hear a little bit more about that, especially our audience, because you do a lot of work with men. And then we'll bring out our guest, JC. So for people just joining us for the first time, especially on our radio channels, who is Roland Friedel and what is the work that you do that brings value to your clients? Okay, thank you. Hello, everyone, wherever you're joining us. Uh, as you can hear from my accent, I'm Roland, I'm uh, not a native English or American speaker, British or American speaker. And as I said, I'm, I'm Austrian. I'm, I was born and raised in Austria, a beautiful small country in the middle of Europe. Um, yeah, who I am? Uh, first of all, I'm a human being. Secondly, I'm a man. I'm a father and a grandfather. And I dedicated my life uh, to support uh, men recently. But I started over three decades in training, consulting, what I still do with my team worldwide on huge operations and their um, executive uh, uh, leadership. That's what I'm doing with my team together on Spartan Performance Systems. But uh, besides that, uh, coaching, consulting, uh, trainings, giving workshops worldwide for huge companies, I dedicate my life to men, as Dr. Jekyll mentioned. So I started sparing for men. It's a platform where men share their men being uh, in different kinds of ways about their emotions, their role as a man and in, in partnership to their kids or to their friends, to their family, in the job and so on. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm very proud actually that uh, actually two weeks ago, uh, we started to first mention on UK Global TV and Radio. Uh, we called it Wild at Heart after the amazing book from John Eldridge, Wild at Heart a show by men, for men, about men, every Wednesday. So next week, or actually not the next week, tomorrow, sorry for that. Tomorrow, Wednesday, it's the third time that we come together, seven guys talking about a uh, topic. So when you're into it, tomorrow the topic is why men need men to talk about. That's what I'm doing. And I'm yeah, very, 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 very mission driven about that. We're super excited that you came up with this idea for the show. And again, for people just joining us, Roland is, in addition to being a co-host of this show, he's also one of our expert presenters on our Talking Heads team. He's an expert listener, which means he's been certified to listen at an elevated level. And he is also the first person to have his own show, which is the show he just referred to, with a group of outstanding panelists. So there's lots of opportunity for people here at USA Global TV and radio. And thank you, Roland, for being a part of all of it. Uh, Dr. Checklin, it's an honor and a pleasure. To, to be honest, I thank you to, that you are uh, invest all the money, the energy, and all this effort to build up this amazing platform. And and um, for me, it's 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 not a job. It's, it's like being part of a family. It's contributing and caring and sharing and connecting people who are, I wouldn't say it's uh, uh, the same way we all come from different parts of the world we have different backgrounds but what we all want is to make this world this planet a better place and i guess just connects us and i'm very happy to be part, part of it i'm very feel very honored oh thank you so much i just want one more comment to share before we bring out jc i put together an email to send out to the team yesterday and after i sent it out i realized there was something that was incorrect i thought we had 37 team members and i thought it was 30 it's actually 39 team members and we just launched january the 10th and people are from all over the world and we now have 23 live shows a week different TV shows like this. And then we have six shows, which are the talking head shows. So congratulations to everyone.
Okay. I think we just froze for a moment. Um, we're going yeah. to bring out our guest. Can you please introduce JC? Yeah, JC. I, I met Juan Carlos JC uh, a few years ago. Actually, I, I'm not quite sure because we met so many times on different yoga, different events, like yoga conference. But I think the first time I met him, I think so, yes, it was in Greece on a beautiful island where I joined a Thai yoga massage. Thai yoga massage training yes i'm educated by the way i'm I'm a, I'm a certified thai yoga massage therapist by the way so i i joined this training and he was one of the co-trainers and when i had my exam my practical exam on the last day he was one of my of my professors who, who gave me feedback and we had a lot of fun and i'm I, you know, from, from the beginning, you have this feeling if you're some, if you're connected with somebody, you feel this empathy and a, this a, a, a good heart person. So we always stood in contact. We meet several times, I think, in Barcelona on the yoga conference. I had the pleasure when he was teaching yoga to take care about his little son. So we always stood connected, and I thought it's 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 um, a good opportunity to bring him here on the show so he can share what he learned. Uh, all the way down his journey um, the last years. And, and the main focus today will be on empathy because it's such an important uh, attitude or character, however you want to call it. So let's bring him on stage. Welcome CR at the USA Global TV and radio show. Welcome JC, hello. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the energy today, but JC seems to be frozen. All right, we'll bring him out. So just so people know, yeah. everyone's every everyone has their own Wi-Fi across the world, and it's everybody's not always in sync. So um, anyway, while we're waiting for him to come back, I'd love for you to share a little bit about this festival that you went to. What exactly did you do there, and uh, what was the purpose of it? Okay, it was it's it's a men's festival, uh, you know, a, a festival for men, about men, by men. Mm -hmm. um, it, it it was from Wednesday to Sunday. Actually, what I, first of all, what I love was the amazing venue. The event was located in an old house, uh, very close where I was born. And, and I was funny when I was driving there with my motor, with my RV, I was seeing some ski areas where I learned skiing. 52 years ago, <laughs> as I was a little kid, uh, or even longer. And so it was a nice memory. So it's, a, it's in a forest. It's an old house. It's beautiful, renovated, where they offer seminars and workshops. Besides, there is the largest archery uh, uh, club of Europe. So hundreds of people are hunting, uh, chasing through the forest and 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 and, and uh, with their arching about three of these animals or something like that. But the men's festival. Yeah, it's it, it was a five-day event. Um, what I really loved by besides the venue was it was a small event, so only 30 men. So I really had the opportunity to, to talk to all of them and get to know. I guess the youngest was 25, the oldest was 82, the average was between 40 and 55, something like that. And what it was like just, you know, women always come together on retreats, uh, on yoga events, on what, whatever, awakening, healing events. Uh, men are mostly not so open. So it's just an amazing opportunity to go on this men's festival. And there were topics. I, I remember the first uh, workshop I attended was about becoming a Viking. So about Viking values, we did X fights. So martial arts and a lot of martial arts. There was Wim Hof. I don't know if you heard about Wim Hof, the Iceman. So we did a lot of briefing, intense briefing, went to into an ice bar for minutes. And I guess it had only three degrees or something like that. Three degrees Celsius. This was almost frozen, staying there and keep briefing. Uh, there was a lot of lectures about masculinity, about sexuality, about also about trauma, trauma and relationship. Does it fit together? Where does trauma come from? How do you overcome trauma? Um, yeah, how do you, how, are you aware about your own sexuality, of the power of your own sexuality? Um, yeah, we did about hypnosis, uh, stuff like that, Dif different, different topics. Um, and it was, was really, it was intense, it was intense, but very, very interesting. I absolutely loved it. And for me, it was the first time to, ch to join a men's festival, by the way, but it was, uh, yeah, it was very surprised. It was better, much better than expected. Absolutely. So uh, every man, when you're when there's something around, uh, I guess there are, in, uh, there are men's festivals in US. In Europe, the next one for English-speaking group is the Manfesto in Denmark in August. So 
it's a cool opportunity to men because I'm men need men to talk and to share. It sounds very exciting. I'm I was also interested when you were talking about going into the I guess it's an ice bath or it's a yeah. So had you done that before? No, I did a lot of fireworks, you know, walking off hot coals and stuff like that many, many times. No, I spent that. I mean, to be honest, for me, it was not really a challenge because I shower always very cold. Always very cold because I know about the benefits, about the boosting the immune system. It's good for the, but I, I'm getting older, you know, <laughs> 58. So uh, it's good for the skin. Uh, it's good for your venous system, but especially for the immune system. Um, so we, we, we have been prepared. Uh, we did, I guess, a two hour briefing session, very intense briefing, two hours, very, very intense briefing to prepare. Then we went in the, one by one into this very, very cold water. And of course, the first thing is the body wants to get out of it. The body wants to escape immediately because he, the body wants to survive because normally you die in this cold water. So he wants to get out, but you stay there and you keep breathing, breathing, bring your breath down, relax, bring your breath down, relax. And to be honest, to be in the ice ship was not bad. It was, for me, it was an amazing experience afterwards because afterwards you're not allowed uh, to get warm or to put cloth on. You're absolutely allowed because you have to imagine your body is under shock. It tries to um, to survive, meaning it supports your, 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 how to say this, your main corpus, your, so your heart, your lungs, and your digestion. So, here it tries to keep warm more or less so all the other blood in your hands and your legs in your arms and so on is very cold so after the ice bath you have to stay half an hour to an hour outside without any clothes and warm up slowly because when you put on clothes clothes not, does not only let cold in or warm in it doesn't it also doesn't let cold or warm out so you have to get the cold out because otherwise the cold blood is coming closer, closer to your heart, and then it's dangerous. So for me, the, the, the worst part was after the ice bath, staying outside in the wind and it was cold and, and waiting that your blood is getting warmer, warmer, warmer slowly so you can transport it to back to your heart. This was the real challenge, to be honest. So I, I guess it, it took me two hours to warm up again, but it was an amazing feeling. I will do it again. Uh, luckily, where I stand here now, there's a wild river. It's very cold very very cold and i said tomorrow we'll start taking an ice bath it's not it's not that icy but it's very cold to go for an ice bath for two to five minutes every day wow that's incredible congratulations yeah and it keeps you young you know the, the, the tan the skin you know i i know some guys who i don't spend ten thousand or even hundred thousand dollars for these cabins where you have minus decrease you know very very cold inside to get shocked in the morning it's it keeps you young yeah, and the same like ice bath. It keeps you young. Yes, I've heard that. Uh, I haven't actually done it myself, but I will take your word for it. Yeah. it's And, and it's like, like, I don't know if you ever tried walking about hot calls. It's all about preparation. It's all about preparation. Being aware of the cold, not to put it away, not, not going in and saying, no, it's warm, it's warm, it's hot. No, no. Being aware of the coldness, welcome it. And stay calm and keep breathing. Your your body knows how to survive. Let the body just function. I think that sounds like something that all of us can take to heart, especially if, if you can just start with taking a cold shower or taking a cold bath. Then I think um, even if you're used to taking a really hot shower or a warm shower, just turn the water, make it cool for, I don't know, 10 seconds, 15, 20 seconds, and then work up from there. Well, I do it every day when I shower. I shower warm in the beginning, of course, to get to get to get um, clean. I do it, mm -hmm. warm water, soap, whatever I use, warm water again, clean, and then I stand two, three minutes under the cold water. Really enjoy it, and slowly, you know, starting with the legs, so your your blood comes slowly up and up, and then starting with the arms coming closer to your heart, mm -hmm. and a little bit my head for two, three, four, or five minutes, depending on what happened. And then I, I I warm up again with warm water, just my feet. Just mm -hmm. my feet, having warm feet. And well, I there feel we really have it. <laughs> is he back? No, no, no. I'm saying and now we know what your routine is. I love it. That's great. Okay, okay. 
So Roland, uh, JC hasn't come back yet. So I would love to take a commercial break and then have you share a little bit more about this wireless life and some of the key learnings that you've had for people who are not aware you lived on the beautiful island of Mallorca for 14 years and you have an amazing RV that really is like a home on wheels. And you started out, what day was it? April the 1st? Yeah, I started April the 1st. I used it April the last the four years just for vacations, and now I'm I'm in full time. Yeah. Yeah, so let's have a conversation about that so that people can start to think about, hey, how could I work wirelessly? What was what does that look like? Maybe it's going out into your garden or going and working for yep. a beach, whatever it might be. There's lots of options. So stay with us, folks. We'll be right back on the Mallorca Connection with Roland Friedel, and we'll have more conversation coming. Take a moment. 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 So I've had the privilege of photographing some incredible people over the years. And during each shoot, I've asked the subject to close their eyes and take themselves to a peaceful place just for a few seconds. I've found that this really helps to refresh the energy between the camera and the subject. They had an energy that was quite special and quite different from the rest of the shoot. The collection grew and now it feels the right time to use it for something good. I think it would be amazing if we could help to raise awareness and involve people in the discussion about mental health. So what we're asking to do is for everyone to upload their own self-portraits. All of these portraits will become part of a massive artwork. I'm really excited to see this project go from hundreds of pictures to thousands of pictures. Essentially, uh, an ever-evolving artwork that says we're all in this together. Close your eyes and take a moment. Have you just lost your job or have been laid off and you are looking to transition to a new job or career? Maybe you have even tried submitting tons of applications and yet you keep getting turned down for jobs you qualify for. Don't wait until you become overwhelmed with rejections when you can easily transition or get your dream job. Let MJW Careers guide you to the right career path and a better, brighter future. At MJW Careers, we know what hiring managers are looking for and our goal is to land you the job you deserve. What makes MJW Careers a wonderful provider over other services is our pragmatic and scientific approach to resume writing. There are rules, there are visual cues, there are content best practices. We understand those and work within the boundaries to ensure our clients' messaging appeals to the decision makers. Our career consultants will help you transition into new roles quickly and effectively. With our experience in virtually every industry, we will provide direction in the frustrating job market by helping you write a customized, professional resume and prepare you for your interview as well. Join the great number of people we have helped scale up to greater things in their careers. Let us help you on your career journey. Come visit us, www.jobstickers.com to learn more and grab a free resume review or ebook.
Hello and welcome back to USA Global TV and Radio. I'm Dr. Jacqueline Kerbeck and you're watching or listening to the Mallorca Connection. Joining me is my colleague and friend and co-host. Let's welcome back Roland Friedel. Hi, Roland. Hi, Dr. Jacqueline. Nice to see you again. And our guest is backstage, cool. Juan Carlos Russo. He goes by JC. He's an international practitioner. He's a teacher. He's a Reiki master. And he's a bodywork therapist and so much more. Let's bring him out. Joining us. Hi, Hello. welcome, Hello. JC. Hi, Prada. Hi, Prada. <laughs> not working i think he has the show on i could hear my yeah. voice yeah, so yeah. uh juan carlos if you can hear us if you can turn off the show and then we can bring you back out <laughs> well, yeah, you know, but, but the show you know, we are live we are real we are authentic we are uncut this can always happen yes it can well, let's see if he's turned the show off i just had some hi you know a little technical issues with my computer it's the first time I'm on, 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 on well I know you're joining us from Switzerland which is really terrific no 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 I don't Okay, unfortunately, we cannot hear him. <laughs> okay, JC, we'll try to add you back later. Um, Roland, if you could tell us a little bit, um, a little bit about JC's work. I know you shared how you met him, but uh, for people who are interested, I, I want to put up his contact information as well. Tell us a little yeah. bit more about him, and I'll try bringing him back on again. Okay. Okay. So, as I said before, uh, JC, I met him years ago in Greece as a Thai yoga. Uh, massage teacher, where he was one of the co-teachers there. Uh, he's a, a very, very good Thai yoga massage teacher, a Thai yoga massage therapist. I know him as an amazing yoga teacher. He's uh, very into yoga and different styles of yogas and um, it's his body working. I know that he the last week, actually, he organized with his clients cycling tours. Uh, so he does a lot of stuff with, working with his body, but I think what his USP is, well, he's a very special person, is his empathy. And when you work together with him um, as a client or as a student or whatever country you have, you really feel very comfortable with him. You feel very safe. You feel very welcome. It's, he has an amazing, huge, huge heart. And that's what it makes him so, so special about besides all the work he's doing, you know, this body work, a Reiki, yoga, Thai yoga massage or cycling, whatever he is offering. He has a very broad experience, but it's just a wonderful, wonderful person. So I, I always encourage everyone right every time. And he is in, he's in Europe, wherever in Switzerland and Portugal, in Spain and France, trying to run off his class. It's an amazing experience. Absolutely. I can absolutely recommend it. Wonderful. Thank you. Let's try to bring him out. Again, drum roll, please, as we welcome JC to the program. <laughs> and he's not here. Okay. No. All right. Sorry. Maybe everybody somewhere in the mountains. Yes, who's watching Sorry. or listening, but we are live and this happens. People don't have a, a great connection, so we apologize. So, Roland, uh, let's talk for the, the remainder of our show about the men's program that you have and the value that you've gotten from that, as well as your life in an RV, because I feel like there's an intersection between the two, because you basically <laughs> just said, hey, I'm going to do my own thing. And you're encouraging other people to do it as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Well, the, 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 the men's work started um, with my background of a consultant and trainer on a high level uh, with international companies and the executive management. And um, I started this almost 30 years ago, three decades ago, um, actually worldwide. Except Australia. I've never worked in Australia, but I've worked in North America, South America, in Asia, in Africa, uh, in the Middle East, in Europe, of course. 
And uh, with some of these uh, managers I'm still in contact with, some of them we have really kind of a friendship, so we meet privately for dinner or barbecuing or something like that. And what I realized is, you know, men are very competitive. You know, women are more open. They're more sharing um, uh, their stuff. Men are very competitive. So he, who is the coolest? Who is the most successful one? Who is the, I don't know, the fastest car, the largest house, the most beautiful girl, whatever it is. So men are very competitive. And um, I guess... Most most of us are trained and educated. I made a thrill that the military don't show emotions. It's weak. And, and, and I said, okay, don't show emotion. It's weak. And on the other side, we're very competitive. Of course, we we never learn to show emotions. And in many, many uh, face-to-face or eye-to-eye co- 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 communications and conversation with these managers, I found out that they are suffering the same I'm suffering. I was successful in business. But inside, I was very, very empty because I had no access to my emotions. I couldn't even na- name that or not at all express them. So I suffered in my relationships or, or my relationships suffered with me. It's vice versa. So I, I started about um, uh, working on myself. And to be honest, the, I was pushed by, yeah, really pushed, but also inspired uh, by my, my girlfriend I'm together right now. And I'm actually, I'm a she, it was the best thing that could happen to me the last five years. It was very challenging for me, but uh, she inspired me to both be aware of my emotion, what they really are, name them, and express them. And I can tell you guys, this was a hard way for me, and I'm still, uh, still a student. <laughs> I'm still, still a student. But I found out that's not. I'm not the only one. I'm also uh, other men outside uh, fighting. So I started with uh, some men uh, building up a platform. It's called Sparing for Men, uh, where we meet. Uh, twice a month online with different topics and we just share about our man being, our emotions, how we feel in our role in business, uh, as a father, as a husband, as a son, um, different different topics. And, and I found out, okay, men are really open. So there are more men's group coming up, there are festivals coming up, so there's a huge, huge demand. And what I found out is our interesting studies that over 80% of men don't have a best friend, meaning not having a beer and fun and going to the rodeo or whatever. It's all about, it's all about really talking about deep insight. Most men don't have. So men need men to talk. That's why I brought up the sparring for men, and that's why we brought up this TV show. But I think we can bring back our guest. I think you're right. I was just messaging him that we're going to bring him back out. So let me take your banner down. And welcome from Switzerland, JC. Yay! I'm here, finally. (laughs) Welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to have you. And I know that we are going to be focusing on the topic of empathy. But Roland and I both gave you an introduction. It would be nice to hear from you directly about the work that you do with your clients. And I know you have some upcoming courses as well. Yes, first of all, Roland, my dear friend, is so I'm so happy to and, and so glad to be here in the show, Jacqueline. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, yeah, definitely my work. I work as a Yenga yoga teacher. It's my main... Um, a type of yoga that I've been doing for since 2005 when I traveled to India. And it's a very therapeutic type of yoga. So I was like really surprised when I met the person like that created yoga, a younger in 2006, actually, when I was in India. And then, yeah, definitely the, 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 the time that I was in India changed my life completely when I transitioned myself from studying engineering into like yoga and everything around the world of yoga. So I ended up like, the, like putting a lot of emphasis in, in, in the body work regarding Thai yoga massage. That was a little bit like uh, the beginnings of, of the work with my hands. Previously, I did some some Ayurvedic uh, massage, but definitely Thai yoga massage really caught my heart, caught my life, and I said, okay, I want to do this for the rest of my life. So later on, I met one of my main teachers, David Lut from the Luliani School. He's an osteopath, and he's mixing the techniques of osteopathy into Thai yoga massage. So um, I did all the courses, all his courses, everything what he was offering. And in 2007, he created a master where he invited some of the, you know, like his best students and the more dedicated students. And we did a two-year program, uh, basically 
regarding osteopathy and Thai yoga massage. So um, I've been doing this since 2013 when I started giving my formal full treatment and charging um, money for that. So it's been almost 10 years that I've been fully dedicated into the world of, of let's say, body work. Some people say it's beyond body work. So, yeah, nowadays I'm just like uh, basically doing a Jenga yoga and, and these treatments, uh, uh, which I call uh, osteotai, osteotai treatments, and also teaching, uh, as I Ronald mentioned before, uh, we met in uh, one of the trainings uh, where he was learning Thai yoga massage and I was like helping um, uh, one of my teachers, Chris Natakis, in uh, the social house. So um, this has been my life and Probably I'm going to die doing this. Well, you seem very happy, so continue on for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 brother, I re I don't know if you remember this, but I have to talk about here on the show because it was so funny and so people really have to try everything out. Because the point is, check a little. always when I travel, I always try to learn something. Yeah. Not only yeah, I, I go to Tiger Massage, I do uh, yoga, I, I learn cooking or food, whatever, whatever it is. And I remember when I went, went to Greece and I went to Sunshine House because I met Takis before, I guess, at the yoga conference in Cologne. Yeah. So, uh, well, actually, to be honest, I was Googling about Thailand. I wanted to go to a Thai trip and I was Googling Thailand and YouTube and then Thai yoga massage came up. I said, what the fuck is this? And then I saw Krishna Thakur and said, oh, that's an amazing therapy. And I said, oh, he is in Cologne. So let's get a ticket to Cologne because before I work with a teacher, I want to meet him in person if there's a connection. Yeah. So I went to Cologne. I met Takis, like brothers, like we two brothers. Yeah. And after, and I, I don't know if you remember, my dear brother, when the exam was a two hour doing a two hour massage, and I was thinking yeah. it's a one hour, and I, I'm never prepared for any examination. But to be honest, I give a shit on the certification. I just want to <laughs> learn it because I always say you need clients, not a certificate. Anyway, so I was not prepared, <laughs> and we had to choose somebody. Uh, we, we could not select the person we are we are we are we are we are therapying. And I met, I got this girl. I guess she was English, but living in Geneva or something like that. In yeah. And I had to, I had to massage. I said, and then you said two hours. And I said, fuck, two hours. I'm not prepared. So I started. I sweated. Do you remember? I was sweating. You were helping me. I changed my t-shirt. I guess it was you, Paul, went to my hut, bringing me a new t-shirt. I forgot briefing. I was so, uh. and the girl was lying silently. And I said, to, and I thought, maybe she's just quiet not to mess up my certification. And I said, are you okay? She said, yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Keep going, keep going. And then I found my flow. And I, will never, I, I don't know, if, I guess it was you, my brother, or it was Paul. And you said, that you gave me the feedback that you never saw any, in your whole career as a teacher, uh, therapy that was so without any structure, <laughs> without any structure, no preparation. But you also said, and this was really gave me an amazing feedback from my uh, career. You said, you also never saw such a loving bubble, a love bubble between yeah. the giver and the receiver. I was so yeah. connected with this girl and she was so connected with me. I remember this. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. As soon as you were talking, Roland, the image came where you was just like sweating so much. And I just run to your heart. I was just like really, really close. And I just pick up a t-shirt and we're like around you because you were just like you were just super into it. And and yeah, the connection, you could really feel the connection there. And and I think that's one of the most important things between two human beings, especially when we're doing body work, that the faster that we can establish that connections, I'm sure that those treatments will just like give amazing results either for the giver um, than to also to the to the receiver. So yeah, I totally remember that, bro. And I think that was at least 2015 or something like that. Yeah, I think it was seven years ago. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, I remember that. It's been many years. <laughs> that sounds like an amazing time. A two-hour <laughs> massage. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So, yeah, so Roland, are you do you do you give massage therapy at all or no? Well, I'm not working as a therapist, uh, to be honest. I don't have the time. But but when I was organizing these retreats, when they had, had the retreat, I uh, think in Mallorca the last years, uh, where I was cooking for, for, the, for the guests, I always offered Thai yoga massage. And I was giving three times cooking a date, 
Uh, and besides, I guess I had three to four Thai yoga massages every day. It was quite intense because the girl at the beginning, they're rare things because you work. Uh, first of all, I'll explain you, Jacqueline, Thai yoga massage, you are fully dressed, very comfortable. You're fully dressed. You're not touching naked skin. You're fully dressed, but you come very close. I mean, my brother can explain it better. You come very, So in the beginning, they are a little bit, but... I remember the first lady got up my tire from massage. She was blooming. She went out like this. I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to. So yes, I give Thai yoga massages, not on a professional level, not for money. I just, and I always ask them, donate the money wherever you want to donate it. But I love it, yeah. Hmm. Because it's also so good, not only for the receiver, but also for the giver. Interesting. Tell us more about Thai yoga massage. I'd love to, to the fact that you're clothed. That's interesting. Yeah, normally Thai yoga massage is coming. It's it's very, it's very funny because Thai yoga massage is not it's not a massage because you're not closing, you're not using oil, and it's not from Thailand. You know, normally when you see it, so it's just a little bit like how it got like more more um, more well known all over the world. And basically in Thailand, this is when you go and learn because one of the most ancient school is in is the Wat Po school in uh, in Bangkok. But basically everything began with the with the tradition of the Buddha. No, so Buddha uh, was coming from Burma and in like East uh, Asia, so actually near uh, India. And, and and the main doctor and the main therapist that was working with Buddha uh, is well known as Jivaka Kumar Bacha or Doctor Shivago. Um, he was the physician, no? So everything began from a, from a, something very um, monastic, very religious, very you know meditative. Like Taiyo massage was only practiced on the monasteries. So um, it later just like uh, was more our teachers like started going to 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 Thailand and trying to recover and try to bring out some of and talk with some of the monks there. And, and and the people that we have been just like drinking the information from was a German guy, actually. His name was Ashokananda. And he wrote the first um, uh, book in, in, in Thai Yoga Massage, which is uh, it's called the Red Book. No, So it was the first uh, book in English. Um, and he started to try to bring the, the, the information, the traditional uh, of Thai Yoga Massage. Um, he met two different monks who was, was doing something really dynamic and the other was, was doing a um, movement very static, okay? And in Thai yoga massage, we use many things of our body. So we use our hands, we use our elbows, we use our knees. And the idea is that we apply pressure into the body. We mobilize, we do stretches to increase the energy flow within the body. So... Same as the meridians in Chinese medicine or the nadis in, in, in the yoga philosophy, uh, the Thai yoga massage have something which is called the Zen lines. Basically, it's how the energy is running through the body. And with touch and by pressure and all this kind of thing is how we just try to create this um, balance of the energy body. So as Lorna was saying, we're really close sometimes. We say in Thai yoga massage that the more contact, the better. But sometimes you're working and you're using your head, you're using your elbows, you're using everything that you can because at the end you're trying to mobilize energy, you know? So that's a little bit the base of the work that we do in, in, in Thai Yoga Massage. And thank you for sharing that. And I'm really interested, Roland, you mentioned this also about the connection between the therapist and the client. There's a bond that forms there. Roland? Sorry, what did you say? Do you use what? You had mentioned that when you were getting your certification that you formed a bond with your client, with yeah. the person you're yeah. working on. Is that something yeah. that typically happens on a regular basis? Yeah, because, you know, actually we don't say client on therapists. We say the okay. receiver and the giver. And the, the person is lying in front of you. I start with a meditation. I thank to my godnesses, uh, to my spirits, to my teachers, to my gurus. And then I center myself. And then I start slowly touching the person and building up a connection. Slowly, slowly building up a connection, a very loving connection. I always give a, a lot of love is streaming out of my body. Yeah, uh, that's very important for me. A lot, uh, giving a lot of love to this person, uh, receiving a lot of love and then starting slowly the Thai yoga massage, what we call uh, brother, you will, uh, as you will say the same, we call it meditation and movement. It's a meditation mm -hmm. and, and Dr. Jacqueline, it's an amazing hip opener, by the way. 
Oh, <laughs> sounds great to me. <laughs> All of it. Yeah. Juan, what else would you like people to know about the work that you do and uh, and how these healing modalities are more important than ever based on what's going on in the world and people's mental health being in question? Yeah, Jacqueline, um, Roland mentioned something really important, which is love. And, and, and I was just like talking before about the Buddha. And there was this beautiful monk, uh, Thich Nhat Khan, that he mentioned something which is called the four aspects of true love. And basically that's like the main background or the first thing that we do before giving a session, which is connecting with those aspects of true love. No, In in, in Thai Yoga Massage and even in, in the yoga philosophy, it, they are called Metta, Karuna, Mudita, and Upekshana. So Metta will be this loving kindness, Okay, or this capacity to feel love from first ourselves and then for the for the other person, and to try to give the best uh, that you can for this person. That basically you're just trying to acknowledge yourself in this person and just like giving you as an instrument for uh, the well-being of this person. Then you connect with Karuna, which is compassion. So at the same compassion, it's just that capacity, no, to to help. And to and to and, and to give no the best of you, there will be a mudita, which be will be the joy or or the happiness that you might feel for the other person's happiness. So when the other person has a success and like it's it's having like a good time, you're just like happy for that. And and the other one will be upekshana or upeka, which is a uh, referred to equanimity non-judgment so whatever is happening in your treatment whatever is happening in that communication that you're having with the person okay because at the end we're just like creating that non-verbal communication um you have to maintain yourself with no judgment at all so that would be the main four pillars that um you got to embody it in a way before giving so I was I was just like uh, commenting uh, and, and telling Ronald before that one of the main things that are like um, uh, really happening in my treatment since many years is empathy or the capacity to feel what the other person is feeling. So I believe that like, my treatments turn into a total different um, practice when as soon as I just could feel the person and see the person, I started feeling in my body physically what the person might be feeling in terms of like sensations or blockage in the body. Because at the end, with this treatment, what we're trying to do is to release some of the blockages that are in the body physically, emotionally, and, and for sure, energetically. So nowadays, I just like trying to teach as much as I can and trying to give treatment as much as I can. Um, because I believe like nowadays, since everything, what has been happening since the latest, you know, everyone knows what has been happening in the last couple of years. I believe that people need a little bit more of touch, a little bit more of connection. And at the end, we really need to connect us as a human being. As Rona said before, I'm just a human being, no? So the more we connect with that empathy with others, I believe that we just, create a better world around us and for sure like in our planet no so this is basically what i what i what i feel and think that's beautiful thank you for sharing that and and also roland you always start every show saying that you're a human being i think we really need to have everybody take that and embrace it because we are all connected and loving kindness and empathy and compassion is more important now than ever. Yeah. And JC, I would love if you shared with our audience, I know your website is going to be launched very soon. What yeah. can people expect to find on the website? Okay, I'm creating in my website a little bit of my work in Ayenga Yoga. And where I'm teaching right now, uh, I live in between Switzerland and Bali, a little bit in Spain. When Roland mentioned I, I do also bicycle tours, I work with an American company, which is called VVT, um, doing bicycle tours in spring and fall season. But when I'm not there doing those tours and, and basically with the lockdown, what happens recently, I spent all the lockdown in Bali and I was working in two main places, one place which is called the Yoga Barn in, in, in Ubud, where I, were giving, where I was just giving sessions and also teaching a younger yoga. 
And in another beautiful studio, which is called uh, Desa Yogi in Uluwatu, in the south of the, of, the, of the island in Bali. And when I'm not in Bali, I'm working here in Lucerne in the studio of uh, Bianca Cicin, which is called Leaf Lab in an amazing yoga studio in Lucerne. So when they connect in my website, they will see all that information. They will see a little bit about myself, but history, the services that I offer in terms of like Iyengar yoga, private yoga classes, um, osteotai treatments and I'm creating an online course which is called the essence of Thai yoga massage where I just like work and explain uh, on detail some of the main uh, techniques that we use in Thai yoga massage and I also bring like five different uh, sequences that are related to the different elements in Chinese um, medicine I've been also studying Chinese medicine since the latest years so yeah that will be just I've been taking quite a little bit while until I finish my website, but it's going to be ready soon. In the meantime, people can connect with me through my Instagram, um, Juan Carlos Russo, or directly with my WhatsApp, and just like easily reachable. Um, and I will be teaching actually this weekend, beginning Thursday, um, a course that I just, uh, me and my girlfriend with design is called Communication Through Touch uh, for yoga teachers people that wants to learn about adjustments and also a little bit of Thai yoga massage in the weekend after and teaching a full four days on how to like uh, give and receive what we were just mentioning before, Meta um, Karuna Mudita Opesha. So basically how to learn to give Thai yoga massage. JC, are these courses in person or can people join via Zoom or some other method? Um, there is a possibility to join um, online um, because in the studio everything is set, but most of the time it will be like in person. So in my website, when the website is ready, that hopefully will be next week, people can just get and buy the, the online course on, on Thai Yoga Massage. But the next couple of, of weeks, it will be in person. If I receive some requests from people that wants to like see it and, 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 and receive it online, I will just uh, be super happy and try to make it happen. But at the moment, it's not, a, I didn't think about it, but actually it would be a, a nice idea to offer that to people. Thank you for asking that, uh, Jacqueline. Or maybe you can record it and then make it available for purchase. And make it available for purchase, yeah, that's a great idea. Thank you, they keep me around here for something, I don't know. <laughs> well, JC, it's been a pleasure having you. I'm so glad you were able to get connected and we could stay here and chat, but Roland has another show coming up right after this. And uh, so we have to get to that. So once again, I'm going to spotlight you, JC, and just share again uh, what it is that you're offering and how people can reach you. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. Thank you so much. So again, People can reach me uh, through my WhatsApp, easy, uh, Instagram, Juan Carlos Russo, and my website will be ready soon for people that want to like learn um, the essence of Thai yoga massage. That's how I call it. Okay. Roland, again, thank you so much. Jacqueline, thank you so much for uh, your help. And if there is someone in Switzerland that is listening to me, please, uh, uh, you're more than welcome to join me this week or next week for some Thai yoga massage or for my classes. Ayengar Yoga around the area or in Bali next month. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure meeting you. And what a life to go to Switzerland and Bali. I absolutely love this. <laughs> Thank you so much, actually. Yeah, I cannot complain. It's a real pleasure. Thank you. Take care. We'll see you again. Thank you. Thank you, Roland. Bye, Jacqueline. Thank you so Thank much. You. Bye. Have a good Bye, bro. Bye, Prada. Bye. Oh, what a delight he was. He should be on the, the men's panel. Yeah, I had to say met you the last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to reach out to him for that. Yeah, so, Roland, yeah. I'm going to spotlight you, and if you can share with people how they can reach out to you and who you'd like to contact you, that would be terrific. But, yeah. Whoever wants to connect with you, I mean, it doesn't mean that you have to have a problem or need a solution. Just just if you want to uh, share some ideas with me, if you want to share what triggers you, if you want to share where you want to heading to, uh, I feel more than happy if you contact me. Just go my I only call it my main website. It's my name. It's uh, rolandfriedel.com. I will spell for those of you who are listening on a radio station or a podcast is R 
o l a n d f r i e d l dot com Rolfriedl from Tom, and from there you can link to our when you're more business connected, organizational leadership, you can go to my uh, business website for my for my team Spartan Performance Systems. If you're interested in uh, wireless life rocks, meaning working from wherever you want. It, it can be your garden, it can be the beautiful island of Bali, or it can be an RV or the mountains in Montana or wherever you want to work for wireless life remotely. Uh, you can go to Wireless Life Rocks website. If you're interested in man's work and, and, and developing as a man and growing as a man, then join us on Sparing for Man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. And we look forward to having everybody who's watching now on the live or the replay join us for the next show. So do stay where you are and Roland and I will go over to the other studios and we'll be right back on Talking Heads. Thanks so much. Thanks, JC. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.